guys uh, as you know last time we discussed about the primitive gut now we will continue about the development of stomach development of stomach uh, previously uh, the primitive gut formed after the primitive gut it develops into stomach the embryonic stomach uh, basically derives from the posterior foregut and it is developed aimed a few neighboring tissues including the esophagus intestine liver gallbladder and pancreas in the fourth week of development uh, stomach starts develop uh, in the form of uh, fusiform dilation uh, precisely in the thoracic region uh, in the thoracic region uh, the right diaphragm region the esophageal uh, lengthening is responsible for the stomach position because uh, if there is any shortage of uh, short lengthening of esophagus it can cause congenital anomalies like hiatus hernia or diaphragmatic hernia the positions of the stomach basically based on the rotation of stomach stomach rotates in the 90 degree angle in clockwise and it has uh, two types of rotations one is called longitudinal rotation and the second one is called the posterior rotation uh, in the uh, longitudinal axis stomach rotates uh, and the also with the stomach vagus nerve attached to it also rotate it uh, the left side uh, rotate uh, towards the anterior side and the uh, right side rotates towards the posterior side respectively the vagus nerve also uh, rotate in this position in the interior po interior posterior axis uh, the cardiac region move downward in the left side while the pylorus uh, region move uh, rightward and upward we will talk about the mesenteries of stomach basically mesenteries provide uh, support to stomach to fall uh, from its position and it prevents against the gravity uh, in the early stage the mesentery uh, there are two mesenteries uh, dorsal uh, dorsally and the ventrally uh, in these two portions there are two uh, mesenteries talk about the mesenteries basically mesenteries are the support of stomach in the early development of embryo here is our stomach and this is our ventral mesentery this is our dorsal mesentery later on when the liver develops this is the liver and this is the stomach this is our ventral mesentery this is our dorsal mesentery the connection between the ventral mesentery and the liver is called falciform ligament and the connection of liver and our stomach is called lesser omentum same as here uh, later on it develops spleen develops here the connection of stomach and spleen is called gastro renal reflection and the connection of our dorsal body wall and spleen are called leno renal reflection here are uh, two important terms used in this development of stomach one is ligament and second is omenta whenever the solid viscera of abdomen wall connected to any organ or any part is called ligamentum while the omenta is uh, connection with stomach with any things or any organ in the beginning stomach connects with the ventral wall of the body uh, it provides support to the stomach later on uh, liver developed and the two important uh, two important connection form uh, one is called falciform ligament and other is called the lesser omentum Falci uh, falciform ligament connect the liver with the body wall while the lesser omentum connect the stomach with the liver the dorsal mesentery in the beginning it support the stomach 
uh, from the uh, dorsal dorsal wall of the body but later on the spleen develop then the mesentery is also develop into two parts one is called lineo renal uh, reflection and the second one is called the gastro renal reflection thank you so much uh, for watching this video we discuss about the development of stomach in the next video we will discuss about the development of duodenum Thank you.